Hi, my name is Eric, and after the 2008 housing market crash, I accidentally ended up becoming a landlord, and I've been buying and rehabbing rental houses ever since. In November of 2019, I quit my dream job and became a full-time real estate investor. Truth is, I rarely know what I'm doing, things usually go wrong, and I'm always stressed and on the edge of a meltdown. Fortunately, me and my investor friends are always taking on new projects, and there's always something exciting, outrageous, or just plain disgusting to share. Hey Oklahoma City, it's Eric with Flippin' Dirty, and no, this is not my new pantry, and this is not a flip that I'm working on. This is one of the displays at Reed Manufacturing, just like this big kitchen display right here behind me. Um, this is a hidden gem in Oklahoma City. I walked in just to check it out. I thought I was gonna be ordering some doors for a flip, but in fact, I discovered a really cool little hidden gem right here in Oklahoma. Let me tell you all about it. So the really neat thing that they do here is not only do they custom build the doors and the cabinets um, with some really high-end technology and some neat features, but they also have a thermal mold uh, production system to put the finish on these cabinets. So you're getting a hard plastic finish, not a painted finish on your cabinets, and it's perfect. There is no paint streaks, overspray, anything like that. So I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough of their manufacturing plant and show you all the cool CNC technology and how they finish their products and make it look absolutely stunning. The process starts here where specific pieces are cut out for the different cabinet sizes. Over on this machine, we see the cabinet doors are being routered out straight out of a sheet of MDF. Take extra care to sand off all the little burrs and nicks before spraying them down with a glue process. After the glue is applied, they set it on these racks to dry. All right, so these have so these, these are ready. Are then, these are drying. Okay, so they spray them first. They spray the glue on it for the thermal foil. So that's what they do in there. She runs the shop. Okay. She runs the whole shop. Once the glue is tacked up, the individual pieces or doors are moved over onto a vacuum plate. Here the pieces are aligned perfectly so that the grain is lined up with the part. So usually we don't have to do it this way. Yeah, you have the rolls. We usually only need one tray. I got it. On this final step, they blow off all the parts so that no dust particles get between the plastic layer and the surface of the cabinet, therefore ensuring a really great finish. After cooking for three minutes under vacuum pressure and heat, the parts come out ready to be cut out. Here we see a small batch of sample doors being prepared to send out. This would be kind of like what you just saw being made, okay. that style, and then this would be the five piece. 
which take a little bit longer because those are all separate pieces and then they're put together. And then this is that shiny, those gloss oh, finishes really where you saw that, that plastic coating. Made here, right? Right here uh -huh. in Oklahoma Yeah, we City. made all of this. Mm -hmm. All these different all things will okay. fit in. And then the sliding so all top. of these. You can actually fill this with ice and use it for your okay. beverages to stay cold. So and two, two layers of sliders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's, you've got the two other types of lights. And then you can put them in the sides. So this has... <laughs> That's I mean, you can put lights anywhere. So those are just routered into the sides. Uh -huh. Pull it out. So you have storage here. And here. And those are the whole shoes? Or no, this clothing? is a pantry. A pantry? Um, oh, yeah. kitchen pantry. Yeah, kitchen pantry. Wow. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this right here is going to blow your mind. Well, there you have it. Uh, hopefully the next time you're in the market for some custom cabinets or even some replacement doors You'll come down here to Reed Manufacturing and check out what they have to offer They do sell those replacement doors by the square foot. They price it by the square foot So it should be pretty easy for you to calculate a ballpark What uh, replacing the doors on your cabinets would cost on your next flip or rehab project in the meantime I'm gonna check out the rest of this pantry and see if there's anything that fits me until next time. You'll have a good one